I will call the meeting to order at 6.09 p.m. <laughs> Jesus. And I, I just wanted to say um, I had asked Darius to schedule this meeting. I had gotten just enough concerns from the, the people on the committee to uh, my outreach that I thought it would make sense if we tried to get a, a meeting in in April and make things easier on Tina and Darius. And I know that he has said that he will be will be making this part a regular <clears throat> April or March happening next year. So um, my apologies. So I will turn it over. Is Tina going to present the uh, recommendations or who, who will be doing so? Darius is going to present his screen and then I'm going to just go through the recommendations. Okay. Great. Right. So here is our most current numbers. Um, right now we have 27 kindergarten students registered and historically we have about six that end up registering during the summer. Um, with that, we have 10 pending applications and um, that we're looking at recommending having school choice um, openings in kindergarten. But then I don't know if as you go down the line, we're also looking at perhaps adding some school choice um, into the incoming fourth grade or, or fourth grade next year. And, and that fourth grade class is the one that we were debating um, Yeah. just what staffing levels to have. Right. And we would still keep the class sizes. I'm still recommending keeping the class sizes um, smaller, um, but increasing a little bit given um, that they're at 13 to 14 right now. So looking at going up to 15 per class. Right. So. I'm just trying to understand the the fourth grade class, the incoming fourth grade class has how many students right now? Is it? They 30? have a total of 40, 33, 7, 40. Let me just 40, which is seven, includes seven school choice. So we, yeah. we school choice that class back in kindergarten, probably. Yes. Yeah, that's typically what we we have done is um, we've since I've been here, we've accepted um, about 10 school choice every year minus um, COVID, if you will, or pandemic years. In right. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't even know this would be. Um, OK. Yeah. So you're just looking at um, recommending openings for the fourth in kindergarten. That's correct. So the the committee and as as it, just so the committee is clear on this, we have to vote a to pr participate in school choice, and we can vote to participate in school choice with the recommendations shown here. We can vote to participate in school choice with only kindergarten or we can vote to participate in school choice um, with you know without offering any new openings I, you know so um, I leave it up to the committee to discuss I know that you know people had questions and wanted to understand the process and so I thought it would be that's why I asked to have this meeting scheduled <coughs> Anybody have any thoughts, or David? Can I just uh, ask, just a quick clarification? Are you saying that um, you, you obviously have uh, openings, or hoping to get openings for kindergarten and fourth? Are you saying that you're not taking any for the other classes, or if you did, you would just take one or less? Yeah, if we, if we did, we would take one or less. My recommendation, as we stand right now, is to um, not accept any, but that. Um, greater than or equal to one allows us to take one if if things shift we, we, we might have people that move out or relocate yeah okay so, so you wouldn't you would want um, you would want to sort of be be able to be flexible you don't you would rather we not bind your hands here but but you're telling us that you're most likely wouldn't add more than one right because um, we're at 17 and 18 in those classes and I think those are pretty Th those are good class sizes. Well, uh, uh, but you aren't in 
first and second. So given um, the trauma that, uh, that we're seeing with the students and social emotional learning and the learning gap, I would like to keep those class sizes smaller. Sure, that's fine. I just was right. saying, yeah. well, you just said 18, okay. Sorry. Yeah. All right, no, no. Yeah, and that and uh, and I think my concern would be that if we add into that for those first and second grade classes, then then we're putting ourselves um, in a position that we're facing with the fourth grade class. Well, at least with the the first grade class, we'd be putting ourselves in a position that we're facing right now in fourth grade again in fourth grade. I know in first, second, and third, it's it's better to have if we can do it. Um, the lower class, the lower student pupil ratios, but once we get into fourth, fifth, and sixth, you know, if we can winnow back a little, then great. So I wouldn't add to the 40 that are in the first grade right now. Right. And um, we can have this debate again in three years, two or three years. Um, so. Uh, just to clarify, are we looking to uh, vote on recommendations for numbers tonight. I know we talked about doing that in May, but are we thinking if we're already talking about it now? I, th I, I think we should, you know, we should give, we should take the vote tonight on numbers and uh, then let Tina proceed with her, her decisions. That was part of the issue that Darius was talking about. He, he was talking about doing it in May sort of after the fact that the mm. principals would have decided. And this gives us the opportunity to to say to Tina and, and Darius that yes, we agree with the plan or we don't agree, you know, that we'd like to see it capped here or whatever we want to decide tonight. Mm -hmm. So, and typically and, and, oh. I would point out, we haven't spoken to the specific recommendations by grade. We've always left it to um, Tina and Darius and in the, the administrative team. Um, but in this case, this, you know, as, as she points out, the numbers at 27 right now, and we usually get a few over the course of the summer. Um, so we could, if we, you know, if we authorize going to all nine, you're going to end up with 36. And if she gets five people, now you've got a class of 41 um, over the course of the summer. And then, you, you know, so uh, anyways. Yes, Carrie, to answer your question, we would be making the decision and trying to give them the guidance. We wouldn't be discussing this again in May. <clears throat> okay, thank you. Okay. So, um, may I ask a question? Absolutely. Okay. Um, I was just wondering about, again, I think I'm clarifying for myself what, what you're That's fine. Um, looking at here. So what is the recommend, what, or re it's, I guess this is for Tina, is what is the number of students you're hope, or you, you would want ideally for the kindergarten class? I'm trying to understand exactly like how the numbers that you would set um, compare to, you know, it sounds like there's, there's a little bit of a, of, there's a, some variable you know things you don't know that you're ha trying to trying to weigh, and I, I'm just trying to clarify like what does the nine to fifteen? Do, what is that in comparison to what you're hoping to have? Um, if that makes sense. Yes. So right now, if we had three classrooms with the students that we have registered, we would have nine. That's where that number comes from. Okay. If that was to stay static and we were to take school choice up to 10, we would have 15. My hope is to cap uh, kindergarten around 15, um, but it also gives us some leeway if other students do move in, if we take, um, you know, if we take more students. My, my hope is to keep it at 15. Right, so, so then the applications you have pending, and is there any, um, do you, Again, this is me just trying to learn the process of school choice. Do are is it about like if you have the numbers and you take the students, or is there vetting? I mean, I, I'm saying that because I'm not sure what the right term is. But do you ever well, not? It's a lottery. A lottery. Got it. It's a okay. lottery. Yep. Got it. Okay. And so you're just trying to figure out exactly what the number of rec of openings you would end up 
having for this for the year for each each grade? Yeah, so that's the recommended number of openings. That's how many we would take. Sometimes I do it as a rolling um, process too. I may not accept all 10 right away in April, depending upon what our numbers look like for enrollment. We are still um, continuing to receive registrations for kindergarten. Mm -hmm. uh, so or I don't know if that helps you with kind of how the process Yeah, works. yeah, I think so. You're trying to get, an, you have a number in mind you're aiming for and you're you're you have to make sure there's enough room for the, residents of the town but you also want to give as many spaces it sounds like to folks who are asking to come um if that's you know i don't mean to editorialize on your no, too. that's good and there's wiggle room in there for us as right well. gotcha. and and if i may editorialize a little bit here for erica's sake uh, purposes and i don't know if carrie remembers or not but um about four I don't know how many years ago it was that we would have made the decision. Is it this year's sixth grade class that's two sections? Or, yeah. So about four or five years ago, we had a very small class size, and we decided to go to two sections in it. Mm -hmm. um, and that was largely as a result of the fact that we had, for years under school choice, maintained three sections in all classes. Mm -hmm. um, and we had filled out with school choice students, which was wonderful in terms of the amount of revenue we could generate for the school district. Mm -hmm. But at the at its height, we had almost 30% of our students in the schools were not Deerfield resident, or what we would call native students. Mm -hmm. They were school choice students coming in from outside the district. And um, the townspeople quite r rightly and, and a couple of the committees in town quite rightly pointed out that we had gotten to that uh, point. And we were, in fact, while we were realizing good revenue through school choice, we had some school choice going out, but we were, in, in essence, supporting students that we didn't necessarily need to. We might have been able to get away with a couple of classes that would have only had two teachers. And so we were offsetting what could have been potential savings on the personnel side with mm -hmm. revenue that uh, wasn't necessary. So that's when we started to become more conservative in our approach to school choice. And we have much better balance now in terms of uh, the amount of school choice students we have in, in comparison to uh, Deerfield natives, as we as I call them. So I don't know if that helps you or not with your decision. No. To understand yeah. that, that was... You can easily get out of balance when we have smaller class sizes. Like right, this. right. Yeah, no, I can understand the, the need to balance, um, yeah. obviously, the costs involved. Um, yeah. And, you know, the, the other the other side of it is that, you know, you that, I, mean, I would think that we want to have an, enough uh, staff to be able to give every student that's on campus the best education. So, right. you know, of course, I'm for being able to, you know, it's such a great s school system that want everyone to be able to participate, but it's also, it has its its um, limits, um, yeah, which are just natural human ones, uh, I think. Uh, so, no, that all makes sense. And so the, the thing is that we have, uh, there's more, is there, there is more wiggle room in the fourth grade class coming? Is that the other spot, but the other ones are, is, as far as how, uh, we've we, what we have set up now. Um, the other classes are fairly full, so it's nice because I didn't realize actually that, that you were able that we didn't just take in kids at the kindergarten level, but that you know, as uh, that there's uh, sometimes flexibility yeah. throughout. So, thank you, I appreciate that. And, and Tina, one last question from me would be how, of the pending applications, the 10 pending applications, how many are siblings and how many are faculty, if any? In other words, non-lottery, don't we always award to uh, siblings of current school choice students? Did I lose someone? I think Tina might have froze. Yeah, she looks yeah, a little frozen. Tina, Tina looks either that or she's in shock with my question. <laughs> so. Thinking very hard. 
We'll see if she comes back. To go grab that. Oh, I think she'll come back. Do, 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 do. That would be the only other question, um, Erica, in that uh, typically if there's a student, if there's a family that has a school choice student in our schools and they have a kindergarten sibling coming in, up, mm -hmm. they are generally awarded a slot if slots are available. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Uh, they don't have to participate in the lottery. And I think we've typically tried to uh, have, there she is, she's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I lost internet connection and my computer froze. Um, so I don't know if you heard any of my answer to that question, no. which was, I don't actually have that information in front of me, but when my computer locked, I went to go grab it. It doesn't look like we have any um, siblings or faculty okay. and staff offhand. I'm just okay. looking at the list. Great. So those would, those would have been my questions coming into the evening. I don't know if anyone else has any other questions. I'm not hearing any. So I, I would entertain a motion then to, on school choice, to participate in school choice as per the recommendations of the administration. So moved. Second. That was Carrie? Yes. Okay. Any further discussion? I'm just Any? curious, but did you know the um, average class size for Waitley areas off the top of your head? Fifteen. Fifteen. They range from 18 to 12. And one section, obviously, per grade. One section per grade. Yeah. Basically, they have one at every number. 14, mm -hmm. 15, 16, 17, 18. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> so. Um, but that's post-COVID, too. So right. you know, we're getting those numbers back. They have a lot of school choice over there as well. They, they'll be rounding out a lot of those classes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions as we before we move to a vote? <clears throat> okay, uh, hearing none, I will go to a roll call vote. Uh, Ken Cutterback, yes. David Sharp, yes. Erica Jacob, yes. Carrie Edgels, yes. Is Mary on? I'm on. Yes. Oh, I, I saw a phone number. I didn't know. I assumed it was you, but uh, I appreciate And Mary, Mary Raymond. Is that a yeah. yes? Okay. Thank you all very much. I, my apologies for being nine minutes late. Jeez. Um, anybody have anything else? I, I mean, we don't have an agenda that has any, any other items on it, so we'd be moving to adjournment. Um, anyone care to make a motion? So moved. And second. second. Mary second. Okay. Uh, and I'll just uh, say Ken Cutterback, yes. David Sharp. Yes. Mary Raymond. Yes. Carrie Etchells. Yes. And Erica Jacob. Yes. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Darius, thank you for taking more time out of your your busy schedule to to set this meeting up i i appreciate you doing it so no problem. thank you all and thank you tina thanks everybody thank you have a good night this helps. You too. Take care. Thank we'll you see today. you all next month